uh, will come back. And then, uh, let's go ahead. Now, I would like to talk about uh, this uh, global leadership, global leadership uh, issue. How to develop a global manager who can possess the global mindset and can be a successful international manager work for you. Okay? Uh, there is a, a very good research, right? Uh, which uh, is conducted uh, in uh, Europe. Uh, this is a goal. goal. Did a study on culture and leadership in city to uh, society. Uh, I don't know if you remember uh, this uh, uh, research, coach culture research. Uh, I, I talk about it for you. And in this research, they can divide it, can divide the the cultural group, right? Uh, the different culture. They divided all the different culture in the world into a uh, nine group, nine group, and they suggest that, right, because the culture difference among this nine group, so uh, all the global manager need to know, right, need to need to know uh, the difference among them, and when they are assigned to do business there. They can know what's the culture, what's the culture, right, of yourself or your own, right? What's the your own culture? You should have this cultural awareness, and also you should have a cultural sensitivity to know what's the difference of your culture, uh, your, your culture group uh, from the other uh, culture group. Okay, so. The main finding of the goal is that charisma, transformational leadership style, are strongly in those code colors. Though there are cultural differences among the, this nine culture group, culture cluster, right? However, yeah, the charisma, a charismatic and transformational leadership style. Okay. Strongly in those close culture. Okay, so the transformational leader um, are more rare uh, agent who focus themselves and they are followed on achieving high level mission. So, if you are a global manager, you need to know how to uh, lead it, how to lead to lead uh, your company, right? To get commitment. Trust, loyalty, and performance. Okay. Yeah. So, the effective global leader view on traditional leadership competencies and exhibit the ability to create a cohesive and and the global spanning of an international culture by tapping into the deeper universal layer of human motivation. Okay. Yeah. Now, the more important practice is that. Well, for the company, you need to identify the hypo, high potential individuals and develop, develop their skill, leadership skill, okay? And uh, accelerate, accelerate uh, the process, the process gear, the key talent in the global organization for succession planning purpose, okay? So, yeah, you, it means that no matter where you go, you need to find the local talent, okay? Local talent, and provide them, uh, provide them and develop uh, their skills, right? Their leadership skills, okay? And by going through the global development process, this local talent can become the global talent, right? There are four types, four model, the culture model. Right. These four model uh, are used to develop 
the talent. Now, I have to develop the talent work for them. The first is the elite cohort, the Japanese model. What it means? This elite cohort approach is a model identified uh, for identifying talent at the time of entry. Okay? When cohorts are recruited from top university, top university, and carefully selected, screened, trained, and developed for a number of years. So that Japanese stuff, this Japanese model. You know, all the political leader will be, uh, they will be recruited from Tokyo. Uh, from Tokyo Emperor University. Dongjin Dida, no? Tokyo Emperor University. So most of political leaders, they are recruited from some specific university. This is the top university. But many uh, business leaders, right? They recruit from Keo University, uh, Japan. However, some a political leader, uh, they, uh, this leader is the uh, uh, opposing party leader. Right? They don't like this uh, the, the mainstream leader. So most of them come from Waseda University. Hey, who will go to Waseda? No, I be I be student. Let's your hand. Show you. Yeah, some can go to Waseda if you like to go. Yeah. Waseda University. Uh, our partner. Okay? Our partner. This is uh, a Rikho Koho model. The Japanese model. Yeah. Well, they are different kind of leaders. They will recruit them from the top university. Okay? And the other is uh, a did political, the Latin model, by French, by right? French company, French uh, government. Okay, they just, uh, uh, you want to be the governmental leader, okay, governmental leader, yeah, you need to get a degree from that specific university. And the third is a functional model, it's a Germanic model, right? Germanic model. It means that in a Germany company, they recruit people, right? they recruit people according to his expertise, uh, the functional, the functional excellence, okay? Major is not so important. However, you must be a functional expert in Germany. You are functional ex excellent, everybody has his uh, uh, functional expertise, Right? So the, they can come together, coordinate with the other. So it's a functional action. Right? A functional model. The last one is the managed development model. It's a multinational model. Okay? In this uh, managed development approach, the decentralized responsibility for functional development lies at a local level. So you recruit people at a local level, right? Who have who have a functional expertise. Okay? However, if you got a good performers, then you will be uh, uh, promoted and transferred, right? By means of this uh, uh, global development process, okay? Uh, and to be a global head. So, this overall process of management is centralized at a corporate level. Now, that it? Yeah. Local level, local level, uh, develop the function active, the functional leader. But if you uh, can be, you have the potential to be a global leader, yeah, they will uh, give you the training by means of uh, global development process. Okay. You will be transferred. You will be okay. Uh, you give an international career. Okay. 
走，到 who， 啊 ，who can be the global leader？ OK， and what kind of the competence this global leader need to possess？ First, curiosity, in which kidneys, right? In which kidneys is a curiosity. They love to learn and are driven to understand and master the complexity of the global business environment. Yes. And they like to find out the, the problem, right? The problem situation, difficulty of the international economy and the global market. Okay. For example, the Maurice Chan, TSNC Maurice Chan, right? This is the CEO uh, who retired. Oh, not, not retired. Uh, he just quit. Quit his CEO, CEO, uh, CEO uh, position uh, two days ago. Morris Chan. Uh, Morris Chan got very successful in the global market in terms of his semiconductor uh, chief manufacturer. Because the more and more uh, new and complex function need to need to be uh, put in the mobile phone, the mobile phone, right? The smartphone. So when they manufacture this chip wafer, right? Wafer, they need some new technology, leading technology, right? To manufacture this kind of a chip. So he decided to invest. Invest how many? Invest, no? He invest uh, uh, how much? Ten. Uh, he invest ten billion. Ten. Ten billion. <coughs> so about ten billion US dollar that year. Ten billion dollar to uh, upgrade his technology to. Uh, uh, to acquire the uh, the DB technology equipment, okay, and what happened? What happened? Okay, so uh, you need to uh, be curious, curious, uh, curious, right? Need to okay? to find what happened. But the new event right, happened in, uh, in the global market and try to get in, to get in, uh, to solve the problem and also to provide the better solution and upgrade, promote your technology. Okay? Yeah. And the perspective, how do you look at the world? Right? Global leader view and uncertainty as in uh, if it's a rating and natural effect of intelligence being, you can say jobs, right? Apple, right? Apple, uh, the former Apple CEO, okay. You know, you know, this uh, communication right, industry, right, must be changed. So, how you look? After Apple launched this iPad, right? Many companies, iPad, iPhone, then HP, right? Acer, they fail, they fail. Okay. And Pepper, emotional connection and unwavering integrity, right? I'm sorry, unwavering. The leader's ability to connect emotionally with people of different backgrounds and culture through the consistent demonstration of personal integrity. Mm. You know, uh, Mr. Chan, right? The te trans technology, right? He likes to connect to the different cultural backgrounds, uh, customer, manager, okay? Yeah. I mean, okay. That's a very important, okay? And uh, second, you should have an uh, exceptional business and organizational setting. Global leaders are highly skilled at both identifying market opportunity and applying organizational resources to map most of the, those opportunities. 
Okay, so if uh, you want to be a successful global manager, uh, stay in one company, uh, I think uh, at least uh, uh, five years. Okay, so you can know, know the organization, know opportunity. But, but the strength, but the weakness of this company. And you can uh, leverage the resources of the com this company to the global market competition. Okay. So who can get promoted? Who can get promoted? So when you want to uh, develop the global talent, right? You should find who, who can be uh, promoted. Who can be developed? Be a global head. So, uh, the global leader should stick to develop a variety of global head uh, competency. Okay? All the competency. Uh, de describe clear the forces behind the global regional business and recognize and connect global market trend, technological innovation, and business strategy, and can outline issues essential to effective strategy around. And friend, day to day management issue, problem, and goal in the global context. I think and plan beyond historical, cultural, political boundaries, structure, system, and process. And um, yeah, there are four papers will be presented by you, right? Uh, after two weeks, you should present four papers. Most of these four papers talk about how to how to um, create okay, the global tech. And even they use the many case, but the most uh, special case is the Samsung. Samsung. Which group present Samsung case? Two group. Yeah. Samsung case. Very special. This uh, is Asian, right? Asian. Asian uh, modern company right, uh, become the, the global leader, right? In this, in this IT industry, in this uh, smartphone business. Yeah. So, how Samsung, Samsung's uh, CEO, Mr. Lee, right, can get this uh, successful? Business by means of the yeah, global uh, okay. So uh, this uh, table just show you uh, the difference between transnationally competent manager and uh, uh, trans uh, traditional uh, international manager. Some CEO, they still uh, are only the traditional, traditional international manager who cannot uh, get accustomed to the uh, new environments of the Asian economy. Right? Many. Uh, like uh, the STC CEO, STC, you know? STC CEO. He's only a traditional international manager. But Asus, no, Mr. Uh, Mr. Su, right? She, yeah, he's the transnational company. Yeah. Okay, so I just give this. Uh, you can take the reference. Okay. For example, uh, for global perspective. You need to understand the worldwide business environment from a global perspective. But at the same time, you need to learn about many culture for the local environments. Okay? Yeah. And also you need to synergy, synergistic learning. Work with and learn from people of many cultures simultaneously. Can you? Now, all you international students come here, right? And the local students, okay, come together. Try, uh, try to uh, 
create a culture of synergy, right? A synergy. Okay. Right. And you can uh, learn the cross cultural interaction, interaction. Use cross cultural interaction skill on daily basis throughout assignment. And you can interact with the foreign colleague as equal. Right? And you can uh, uh, trans. Uh, Trans uh, factory Asian uh, for career and organization development. What's your career goal? What's your career goal? Stay in your own company, uh, in your own country. What's your career goal? Okay, what's your career goal? Think about it. Huh? My <laughs> this I said I just mentioned to my son, my first son. I grow up in Taiwan, right, and uh, immigrate, right. You know, uh, emigrate to uh, to uh, Canada right. after twelve years. <laughs> okay, in too bad. Okay, and I think uh, he will be a. Uh, Assigned to Europe country, Europe country. Yeah. From Asia to North America. And here, he got a degree from uh, US uh, University. Yeah. From, East, from Asia to North America, right? And to Middle East. And then we go to. to. Okay. Now. I just give you this question for this question, okay? How how can we be a global leader? Okay? How can global leadership be developed in a company, in a modern company? Okay? How can global leadership be developed? And for yourself, how can one acquire a global mindset? Global mindset. to managing global competitiveness. Okay? They have global business skill is competing the ability to conduct business on a global scale as well as to design and managing complex international structure and strategy. And also you can work and communicate with the multiple culture. Yeah. You can show the ability to interact with people from for many cultures with sensitivity to their culture and language diversity. You can manage global capacity, contradiction, and conflict, which I experience, okay, by dealing with the multiple country and culture. And also, you can manage organizational adaptability, right? Because the environment always change, change. Okay, so you need to manage the organizational adaptability and manage the multicultural team. Can you? No. Okay, and manage. And certainly it help. You can see this is the real situation in the international economy okay? and global market. Managing personal and regional global learning can help the company right? and learn uh, from the global market. Okay, so I just give you this question for your discussion. And please come back. 11.20 Okay, 11.20 These two questions First, for company, how can global leadership be developed? For yourself, how do one acquire global mindset? Right? That is a good question For yourself, how to get a global mindset? How can you right, acquire this global mindset? Why you come here? Okay? Global mindset, right? For a company, how to develop the global leader? Right? Who has a global leadership skill? Right? Yeah. Yeah. 
of the life sciences. It's only in a company or we can uh, compare study to. Very good. Uh, Bobo Mindset. For you, uh, for you, for you individual, okay, you can learn before uh, before you got a job, okay. However, you still can develop after you end yeah. the company. Yeah, because okay. we already <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's well. Okay, so please go to the group and come back. Eleven twenty. Okay.